I was at the table, in the back, drawing in my notebook. Then some people came to look at it. Most like it, but some hate it, and just walk away. I was still working, and then fell my diaper fill up with worm liquid. It stopped, but my diaper a bit full. But no one will notice. Mmm, worm liquid. 1965, Kimba the White Lion shoots from Japan and lands in America. People lose their mind and their nuts over what looks like clip art. 1972, Watership Down, Rabbits, Hampshire, what more do you want? 1973, Disney's Robin Hood, <laughs> wait a second, that's not a man, that's a fox! People are loving the animals, before this people didn't even know that these things existed. But you know people, can't stop, don't know when to stop, please stop them. 1980, it's the science fiction conventions. The term furry is coined for a person that wants to f*** an animal. For a person who enjoys anthropomorphic animals so much they annoy people with it. Which is the definition of any fandom. Why did this happen? Well, what do you expect to happen when you fill a room with outcasted, sexually repressed virgins? Sleep with each other? Ew, God, no! Ew, touching girls? Gross! Oh, no! Cartoon animals, though. Now that's hot. Fast forward into the future. It's the 1990s. It's 1990. If you're not online, you're offline and dumb. Furry Muck is the first furry forum, a place to get messy. I don't f know how. I mean, look at this ASCII text mother. F it's almost like it was designed in 1990. Ugh. Where am I meant to find my sexy foxes? And I don't mean a silver fox like George Clooney. I mean the regular ones with big boobs. 1995. It's the goddamn future. Brad Pitt, sexiest man alive. Microsoft releases Windows 95 and OJ Simpson was proven innocent. Well, one of those things certainly can't be true. The nursery opens on Furry Muck by a user called Proxima Centauri, the first baby fur forum, at least the first well-documented forum. What the flip is a baby fur? Well, aren't you all in for one sick-ass ride? A baby fur is what happens when you cross an infantism fetish Infantilism with furries. Like when you mix ketchup and mayo. It's disgusting and white people need to stop shoving it in my face. The baby fur community existed before this, but it was still small. Like, well, a, a baby. They didn't have a successful convention meetup until Conference 9 in 1998. What do you even talk about there? Like, wow, wow bro, that nice uh, diapers. Is that the new Model X holds 80% more sh piss and cum? From then on, baby furs have only grown. Not mentally, appearing at almost all conventions and basically becoming a staple of the furry community, even if it's a small part. Some wear diapers with their suits, some probably wear them underneath, could be any one of them, and some simply come in adult baby gear. I mean, come on guys, at least make an effort to look like a degenerate, am I right? But wait a minute, Tatiana, isn't this a fetish? Well, yeah, you big dumbo looking bitch. Haven't you been listening? It's infantilism. Yeah, saying that word's not getting easier. Infantilism. So why are they looking around conventions like, hey, look at me, all this poop in my diaper with all these non-poopers and also some young people who probably still poop. Look at me. I don't know. A lot of cons allowed this stuff because, again, diapers had actually become a part of the community and was just seen as pretty normal, although a lot of furries do claim it is disgusting. But as time went on and the furry community became more and more popular, they had to modernise and many cons limit or outright ban this kind of stuff now. Some baby furs get genuinely mad. Why well, got banned from the convention for wearing a diaper? That's discrimination! Euroference banned age play and pet play items, which is surprising because you'd think pet play makes up a huge part of the furry fandom. I'm not actually sure even how you ban pet play when uh, 
everyone is dressed like a pet. By now, you've probably already watched Internet Historian's video on Rain Furrist. This con had absolutely no ban on baby furs or even fetish gear. What happened at this con was a complete and utter collapse of human decency. Diapers, drugs, and weird sex in hotel rooms. Sounds like an evening out with your mum, up top. Most cons aren't like this, but this was a perfect storm. But it was raining pee. Reading the Twitter hashtag for this event is just the saddest thing. Watching it go to hell. Gonna pack all the diapers for RF15. Gonna steal them all from you. Not if I wet them all first. I challenge thee to a soak off. I'm excited to attend the Art of the Rope Bondage at Rain Furrows 2015. Come with me? Yep, it's happening. I got drunk and missed the bondage panel. Fuck! Hey, fursuiters. Don't fucking stand there and pour pour at the hotel staff's heads when they're trying to do their fucking jobs. Uh, that's a picture of a man's asshole. Due to vandalism, the hot tub is closed for the rest of the con. Sorry for the inconvenience. The pool will now be closed at 11 p.m. each night. Yeah, boys. RF 15 is. Done! Fast times at the Clarion, my Twitter feed is revealing that RF15 might truly be the diaper con to end all others. Sorry, it's a fetish con. If you people can't get over seeing someone happily being themselves, then you have an issue. Listen guys, I'm just here to bust my f***ing nut in the lobby of a hotel, and if you can't deal with that, just leave. Just straight up leave. It's frankly disgusting. It's 2015 and I should be able to bust my nut anywhere. It's just expressing who I am. I want a guy to fist my asshole and then expand his hand in front of an audience of people. And that's just being myself. Look, I'm not getting political here, but uh, if gay people are allowed to have gay pride, um then I should be able to have water sports pride. Um, anyone else, uh, anyone else agreeing with me right now? I may or may not have just ingested 20 milligrams of THC. I give it about an hour before I'm super drippy horny. I feel like a minority at RF15 because I'm against diapers in public. Being a cub fur is fine, but used diapers forces me into your kink. Kind of ruins the con vibe when an adult walks past with a dump in their diaper in public. Please keep that sh literally in the room. Diaper treasure hunt happening at RF15. 30 diapers are hidden throughout the Hilton property. Five contain prizes. 25 contain prizes. How many more used diapers will others find while at RF15? For real? On the ground? On cars? Where the f else? Let's find out! I don't dislike baby furs in general. I dislike smelling baby furs in public. I've noticed too many at RF15. That is a man's ball bag! You get the idea. But my favourite one is this one. Crying in my car. F so hard to say goodbye to furry cons. I feel alive here with you guys. It's hard to leave and go back to my job. My divorce. In my car rolling out, post-con depression hitting hard. Learn more about something before you talk bad about it. You might be surprised. We all have our weirdest f interests. Accept and respect. I think this fandom would be a lot better off if the people who talk badly about other fetish and interests try them, or at least watch. Learned a lot this weekend about baby fur community. Have a lot more respect for them. Ironic since there was so much drama about it. Try the fetish. Like, what the actual f***? I'd never ask someone who dislikes me to try cross-dressing. Although I still hold that cross-dressing gets me more interest from women than I ever got as a guy. Sure, most of you are lesbians, but any interest is a greater amount than zero. Baby furs aren't just buying diapers. I mean, look at this. Plain white Boring. I want my diapers with style and flair. I'm talking dinosaurs. I'm talking Paw Patrol. I'm talking goddamn bears. <laughs> you want it, we got it. Now introducing new Tatiana branded diapers with my face right on the front of it so you can pee on it. 
Now that's a market YouTuber merch has yet to capitalise on. Looking at the actual corporate side of this really gives you a perspective of how actually popular this stuff is. From Twitter alone, it's easy to fall into a rabbit hole of one company after the next. From the US, UK, Australia, EU, all over the place. Multiple large companies in each country. This isn't a small little niche. Nobody has a monopoly. This is a goddamn industry. I found all of these accounts within minutes. I feel like I've only just scratched the surface, but I don't want to scratch any deeper because I'm not finding treasure. I'm just gonna dig up a landfill of all these used diapers. I actually decided to do some real research and contact some of the companies. Of the 10 I messaged, three replied and only two of them actually gave me any information. I do not think they trusted me. Na <laughs> Nappies R Us is a, is a UK brand which is a fetish side company of a larger incontinence brand. They get over 800 orders a week and they aren't the only brand in the UK. So either there's a lot of people buying diapers or 800 people are shitting themselves to death. See, there's a business model. You sell those weight loss pills and then you sell them diapers to all those people losing weight. The biggest furry convention, Midwest Fur Fest, with over 11,000 attendants, hosts one of these companies. Like, sure, they tuck it away in a corner of a secondary room and pretend it's not there. But it's there, the only fetish shop where children have already seen and used the products. I mean, come on guys, being a furry isn't a sex thing. But... Normally at conventions of other kinds, you get people dressing provocatively, but it's not fetish gear. I feel like furries like to show off that they're furries. That's just a part of it. The fursuit stuff is a whole show. They don't make these expensive ass suits to hide them away in a cupboard. So when you blender together a fetish like influencism with people that naturally like to show off, they all come together as one fur-filled latex blob. That's conjuring up some images I, I do not need. How baby fur culture develops is interesting because I think it's actually stagnating. More than the jugs of piss these neats store in their rooms. Adult Baby Diaper Lovers has abdl.world, dailydiapers.com, adisc.org. All of them have lots of weird shit on them. I decided to try logging into abdl.world and one of the questions was, what do you enjoy? And there was an option of cummies. So that's what I picked. Never received an email with my activation code, so I assumed they didn't like my profile. I didn't realise uh, the adult baby diaper lover community was so picky. Now all of these have furries using them, but the actual sites made for baby fur seem to be dead. The domain babyfur.com has been unused since 2010. The community has been growing more and more popular since the mid to late 90s, while the community itself is still part of the furry fandom as a whole. It is large enough to present sufficient leaders, politics and drama to give the community a nearly independent feel to it. What is wrong with the human race that even a f***ing furry diaper fetish is sullied by political debate? What is wrong with us? What drama exists in the baby fur community? You sit around in hotel rooms together and sh** in diapers. What could you possibly be arguing about? If adult babies can't get along, how the heck are we supposed to deal with climate change? Not that these guys are any help. Diapers aren't exactly uh, renewable. That's not to say though that the baby fur community doesn't produce anything of worth. RPing? They don't actually call it that, but I think that's so genius that any baby furs listening, you can have that one for free. Most of the time, baby furs will roleplay with each other and create wild and elaborate stories focused entirely on peeing in diapers. Of course, this leads way to people expanding into actual novels. Go on any website like Wattpad and you'll find hundreds of stories. But you can also get stories like Crinkle Shorts, which has more pages than The Hobbit. And it has a sequel. 
Anyway, who am I to judge? Hey babes, please share this video. And I don't mean like, oh, like, comment, share. I mean, please share. I want to work really hard for my first video of 2020 and I hope you liked it. Share it in Discord groups, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, Skype, who, whoever uses that anymore. I really hope you enjoyed this video and do let me know what you thought about it. I have a Patreon if you want to support videos this year. All the links for that will be down in the description. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next because if there's anything I am, it's a dumpster diver. Also another type of dumpster, up top. And I get to be proud of myself, something my father never was, up top. Hey babes, wanna help support me making content for you? The best way you can do that is with these limited time only t-shirts. The more t-shirts and patrons I get, the less hours I work at a bar with a boss who hates me. And the more hours I work making crap like this for you. Go down to the link below to check it out. The campaign will likely have already started and the first batch will be on sale for 50 days. This top is stylish and makes my tits look great, so I'm happy. Buy this up top top and you'll be almost as popular as your mum is on a street corner. Up top.